Synergy has an amazing feature that allows you to sync its gradebook with your Google Classroom. But before you do that, there are a few settings you want to change to make sure that it syncs the way that you want it to. First setting I would change is up here in the top right corner, there's a Google symbol next to the search bar. When I click on that, it's going to give me a little gear in the bottom left hand corner. And these are some very important settings that you want to change depending on how you grade. This first setting really has to do with when you open up your gradebook for the first time, it does a sync with Google Classroom. Uh, I like to leave that on. It only does it once per sign on. Uh, and that way I don't have to remember to manually click my Google sync over here. The second option you're going to want to take a look at is when you create assignments within Google Classroom, it's going to then sync itself down to Synergy. How do you want it to apply the category of all of your assignments? Now you can change this after the fact, but generically I'm going to just have them all called assignment. The third setting here is probably the most important. Uh, it is how you grade. Now I grade by using a total points uh, methodology where I need to make sure that my max score and my value match each other. And we talked about this previously when we were creating assignments. This is how you make it so that when Google Classroom takes its assignments and syncs them down to Synergy and creates them on its behalf, it's going to make sure that that max and that points match, as you can see over here. And that's a huge problem. If you did not change that, you're going to have to go back and manually change each of those things. Uh, the fourth, fourth option here is really useful. It's a phrase, kind of a secret phrase that you're going to include within your uh, assignments on Google Classroom if you don't want an, a particular assignment to sync its way down to Synergy. I choose GC only, and I just kind of put it off to the side into the assignment directions or the description. And I'll show you an example of that. Uh, the students don't even notice it. They don't know what it means, but I know that that means that assignment is not going to sync back and forth. And that's a nice way to turn it off uh, on the Google side. And then the final one here is scores of zero. If you have a zero in your uh, Google Classroom, what comment, if any, do you want it to add? Now notice the Z score is not in here. And I believe that has something to do with the fact that it removes itself once a score has been put in there. So it sort of creates a conflicting um, rule. So I actually usually just leave this and don't have it put any comments. If I need to put a comment in there, I can do it after the fact. So uh, out of these com out of these options, the two most important is changing this to max uh, matches your value and also coming up with a sync block phrase. I believe shorter is better uh, and use words that you wouldn't accidentally use within your um, your regular description of your assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click done on that. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my gradebook setup that I initially did here at the beginning and I'm going to click on class settings. I'm going to scroll down to one of my classes that I have oh, not enabled this for and click on the little edit button over here on the left side. Looks like that. And move over here to Google Classroom. Now I have enabled Google, Google Classroom, uh, but that's because I just needed it to create a Google uh, Classroom on my behalf and put my students in there. But now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the syncing of my assignments and scores. And that's going to create the ability for uh, uh, there to be a two-way sync between the two platforms. Once I've turned that on, I'm going to go ahead and click up here and click Save. And then I'm going to move back to my gradebook for this particular class. Now, anytime you're working with this and you want to force a sync with Google, I like to use this button and then do a refresh on this page. And it really helps seeing some of the effects after the fact. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at my Google Classroom here. And this is the same period five class. And I go to my Google Classroom and right here is an assignment that I had created. Notice this assignment is not appearing in my Google Classroom. And that is because when I went originally created this assignment, I'm going to go inside here. I had actually turned off Google, right? Now I'm going to turn it on again and save it. 
and notice that it had kind of turned itself on, but it didn't really sink. I'm going to move back here. I now have a G indicating that it's in Google Classroom. I'm going to click Sync just to make sure that that syncs. Uh, although I have found that sometimes it just works right away, but I like to just push that out, go back to my classroom, and there it just appeared. Uh, notice it did not put itself within a topic. I have to manually put that inside of a topic. So that is if you're creating an assignment within your gradebook and you want it to appear in Google Classroom. Now, if you accidentally created in uh, the gradebook and it shot up to the classroom and you want to remove that, right? If you delete it in Google, it will not remove itself from your gradebook. Uh, another option would be to go in here and go ahead and unpublish it to Google. Turn that off. Make sure that say uh, the changes have saved. I'm going to close out of here again. I'm going to resync. And now, when I go back to my Google Classroom, that assignment has been removed even though it's still here in my Synergy. So you really have to kind of know what you're doing, what turning on and turning off the syncing between the two different platforms. Uh, this also works the opposite direction. So if I go to my Google Classroom and I want to create a new assignment, create it the way I normally do, and I can go ahead and put in my instructions. Now, this is where I could go ahead and put in my secret code so that it doesn't appear. But I'm going to put in um, the, my regular directions here. And I could go ahead and add my different materials and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and just quickly do a due date of Friday and make it worth uh, 35 points. And I'm going to assign that. Now, as soon as I assign that, it appears here in my Google Classroom. I'm going to go back to my Synergy. And because I have synced Synergy with Google Classroom, anytime it syncs, it's going to go and grab a, an assignment and it will put itself in here. There's that demo assignment. All right now, every once in a while, you, you may create one in Google Classroom and you don't want it to appear in your gradebook. When that happens, you have two choices. Number one, you could go in here and you could just click on this and you can unlink it from Google and delete it, right? So it won't happen and it will just not appear. Oop, it's this one here, the sample do. And I will just delete it and it will remove itself from uh, Synergy, but it will leave itself on Google. The other way would be what I did with this assignment here, number two. So if you look at the number two assignment, typing intro, Notice it doesn't appear anywhere in here. And that is because I made use of this little code down here, GC only, and it will remain here and I can grade it, but it will not sync itself to Synergy. And finally, when I'm ready to start grading some of my assignments within Google Classroom, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and give uh, one grade to a student, just so you can see how that works. Go ahead and return that uh, grade to that student. And I can press sync. And within here, that grade appears. Now, I will tell you that every once in a while, this sync takes a few moments. Uh, sometimes I need to click on my grade book and refresh it. Uh, be patient. Sometimes it does take up to a minute for it to actually sync between the uh, Google Classroom and back to the gradebook. Uh, and that's okay, but it does pretty consistently work. Now, remember, since this is locked to Google, I can't go in here and adjust these grades, but I can do it within Google if I needed to and decide, you know what, this one is not a 35. It's supposed to be a 30. Uh, and if I change that in here, once it saves, that sync will eventually make its way back here to the Google Classroom, uh, either right away or usually within about a minute or so. And there's the new updated grade. I ended up actually clicking the sync twice just because I got a little impatient, um, but it does update. 
Uh, one final tip here is if you uh, need to go in at the end of an assignment, and let's say that you've given all of the grades on Google Classroom that you're going to, you can always click on this assignment, remember, and unlock it from Google. Now, that's not going to delete anything. It just simply unlocks it from Google, and it will allow you to now go into the gradebook and start assigning comment codes to anything that you wanted to. So for example, if they were blank and you wanted to add Z codes, you could do that from here or fill those down. Uh, those will not sync back up to Google because remember, Google doesn't use comment codes, uh, so it won't necessarily recognize those. But I like to do that at the end of an assignment or at the end of a reporting uh, great reporting unit to go in and type in those Z codes uh, so that they make a little bit more sense or excused or whatever other codes you want to use. Uh, in summary, with Google, it is a little complicated and it does take a little patience waiting for it to sync. But if, if primarily you are creating your assignments on Google, okay, so within your Google Classroom, you are primarily creating your assignments and you are also grading your assignments on Google. So within the actual platform, it is a very useful to have it sync those grades back down to Synergy so that you have access to those and you are avoiding the double entry. Uh, I don't find it particularly useful to create assignments within Synergy and have them sync their way back up to Google. Um, now, if you are going to try something with that, uh, here's a good summary and I'll put a graphic up on the screen. When you are creating and deleting assignments within Synergy and Google, it's important to understand how they react with each other. Anything that's deleted in Google will remain in Synergy unlinked. Uh, anything that's deleted in Synergy will depend on where you created it. Uh, if you created it in Synergy uh, and delete it, it will delete on both ends. If you created it in Google, it will leave a copy there. Once you understand how this relationship works, you'll be able to successfully sync back and forth and use this valuable advanced tool. Uh, I recommend experimenting a little bit within the platform to see how they affect each other. Good luck and have a great school year.